Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Uh, this video is a completely different style than the other ones. Uh, totally impromptu, shot on my cell phone with the natural room lighting. I don't even know where to look into this thing, but uh, I, I'm kind of busy tonight, but I wanted to put this video out. Um, and uh, first of all, if you um, are a, uh, a return viewer, or subscriber or whether you're new here thank you very much if you are new here go down go down wherever that's at go down <laughs> go down and uh, subscribe if you need IT consulting go down to willyhow.com fill out that contact form and someone will be with you as soon as possible what we're talking about tonight is the unify doorbell and its power options, mainly PoE, right? Now, PoE, let's uh, talk about this. First of all, one, I am not an electrician, so you cannot take uh, electrical con, you know, electrical advice from me on things like that. Like I deal with low voltage with networking, and that's one thing. But anytime you're modifying any anything, you know, I'm not an electrician. Uh, if you follow me on social media. You will know that I did take a Ubiquiti um, 24 volt uh, out, one amp out uh, adapter and cut the end off. And I wired that into the, uh, the doorbell. There are the wires from that. I did that last night and it was a complete success. Then someone on Instagram told me that there's actually a, a, like a mini USB or a micro USB port um, under a tab and I was talking to Tom Lawrence. He actually tore his tab off sent me the picture. Yes It is there but I was thinking about the specs and I was thinking about all this other gear that I've got back here and I was like, you know what? Why don't we? Uh, just use the, the the passive poe pins and screw those onto the back and Power it that way 24 volt passive from a ubiquity switch and so that's what I've done is I've taken so if you if first of all this could be dangerous so do not attempt this at home uh, that is the brown wire pair the blue wire pair and they are twisted together and then screwed on to the back and then uh, it goes over to and I'll, I'll show you this here real quick so I've got the cable down here here is the other end of it and we're actually gonna go I don't know if you can see this or not let's see so right here this port 15 on this switch I have passive PoE so I'm gonna plug it in and yes it is booting so for those of you who are wondering can you use PoE well this thing still has to connect via Wi-Fi. It's not gonna, you know, not, it's not gonna connect over ethernet. I mean, we're not even using all the conductors. We're literally just robbing the uh, PoE power. So uh, if you're willing to experiment, you know, uh, you could run ethernet. I don't recommend it. Um, but this is just a proof of concept. Um, you're probably going to avoid any type of any semblance of warranty that you have with this. Uh, like I said, this could be dangerous. I'm doing this in an isolated uh, environment, short cable. I'm not an electrician, but I do want to let you see that it that it does work. You've got several power options for this. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment. Please share. Please. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form. If you want to support the channel by using our affiliate links, those are all down below. Don't feel pressured to use those, but when you do, it does kick a couple bucks over the channel. Once again, I want to thank you for being here. I know this is a completely different style. I thought maybe it was kind of cool to knock this out real quick. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.